Howdy folks, good day to you and welcome back. We are returning to our Honda Ridgeline uh, non pick -em up truck. This is the one that had the broken spring on the, uh, the right rear strut assembly. In the last video we did a bunch of diagnosis. We uh, found that the AC had crapped out and the compressor was junk. We also found that somebody had installed a defective or incorrect rotor on the right front and it was actually contacting this caliper bracket uh, not allowing the uh, the caliper bracket to sit properly, it was grinding and kind of bending everything sideways. So uh, I ended up pulling that rotor off and we tossed a new one on there that was a known good fitting part and it solved that uh, conflict uh, of components. So they're no longer grinding together. Anyway, we were on a parts hold at the end of the video and I was not able to get around to uh, working on these struts over here. So what we're doing today is going back up in the air with this Honda Ridgeline and we're going to remove and replace the complete rear strut assemblies uh, with springs. The reason for that is one of the springs rusted out and broke in half. Like there's a, some plastic stuff dangling here. The coil has come out from around its little base right here and it's broken back on that side. I've got another piece to it somewhere. I think it's, it might be in my cart. Uh, regardless, we're gonna go ahead and pull that strut assembly down both sides. I'm probably going to have to chop the sway bar links off uh, with a saw or something like that because uh, those guys were pretty rusty crustomatic and I don't know if I'm going to be able to unbolt them. So we're chopping off the sway bars, we're pulling this lower control arm down and we're gonna get these struts off of this uh, unibody frame right here. We'll get some new ones installed and then uh, this thing will be back on the road in no time. So stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. Up an easy hood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look who that guy is. Okay, so in my delivery, I ended up getting some not sponsored Moog uh, sway bar in links. And I also got, uh, I think they were, they were Master Pros who made them. It's, uh, it's an off brand, only thing that was available. Uh, so we ended up getting Master Pro. Uh, strut assemblies. I know what you're gonna say. Oh, those are Chinesium. Well, they're better than this So that's what we're gonna put in. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this with an impact straight away And we're gonna see if this is gonna come apart. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't Yeah, it's not a good sign Yeah, it's gonna fight us. The ball is just kind of spinning so Time to start destructing. Or wait a minute, hang on. I might be a little off here. Look, I, it appears I've made this nut smaller uh, by scraping the rust off of it. So let's put a smaller socket on. Let's see if I can't get some traction with that. Please come off, I don't wanna fight. Yeah, it just spins to nothing. Look at that, it's disintegrated. I'm using the wrong tools. I need an impact hammer. All right, well, since this is turning into cheese, let's just uh, hit it with a, a big chisel on an air gun and see what happens. Loud noises. Well, maybe that's like a 12 millimeter bolt. Or a 13, it's so small. Get rid of the rust here. Air code's going, Ray, you're doing that wrong. That socket doesn't fit. Okay, Here, let us try the 14 millimeter. But if that doesn't work, we'll try the 13 millimeter. Okay, we've got it turning now. So, I'll try to get a hold of the back of that stud with the angular needle noses here. Try to hang on to it. Seriously? Okay, uh, that's not working. Now. Okay, next level of escalation. I'm just gonna cut it off. Engage safety squids.
Okay. So that one up there, that one's farther away, uh, and I can't really get to the bolt. I can't get it from the backside either. So rather than going through what I just did with this one, uh, we're gonna change our method of destruction and we're just going to sawzall that thing right out of there. I got a straight line on the stud right here. I'm just gonna saw it right in half. Maybe. blade or new used blade that other one was kind of too flexy pointy one there we go. okay so now that the sway bar has come free uh, we need to I think disconnect the knuckle here and then we need to unbolt the strut here the strut uh, it comes down into this control arm slightly and the bolt runs through so we need to pull out this one this one then once this thing can swing down uh, we need to take the two top bolts out of the top of the strut that go into the body and then uh, we can pull the unit out. And seeing as how all this is super crustified, I'm going to have to hammer my socket onto the bolt. See if we can uh, get this to come free. Yeah, it's gonna come out. Good. Okay, I need to go get my pole jack and support this in case there's spring pressure pushing pushing down on the control arm. I don't want the thing to, to come loose here and then fly out everywhere, because that would be bad. All right, pole jack coming in for some safety. Slide this guy right down under here. Now, this thing is secure. Loud noises continue. Came out, no problem. Look, it's a fluted bolt. Or lightweight, I guess. Give me back my stock.
Googly. That's not what I wanted to happen. But hey, when I dropped it, it came apart. So we're good. Okay, that's one side. Let's get this one. I think that's a 27 millimeter. Yeah. Okay, 27 mil socket coming in, I think. I think that's a little big. Mm. Okay, I see what I've done. I thought that was a 24, but it was actually a 22, but I didn't notice. This is the 24. It goes on that ball right there. I was wrong the whole time. Silly technician. All right, that's it, that's good. Bolt came off. Let's, uh, well, I would say we could lower the jack down, but we can't do that, so let's just raise the truck up off of, off the jack. Uh-oh, flash night batteries going down. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it didn't do much. It's kind of still sitting there. We need pry bar. More pry bar. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's free and clear and safe. Let's get the jack out of the way. Finish uh, pry bar in this down. Oh yeah, there it is. Now it's exposed. Look at that. Good. Very good. Okay, let's get after these upper bolts right here and here. We'll drop this unit out. Okay, I think that's a 16 millimeter bolt up there. Again, it's all crusty and flaking apart too. Uh, it's gonna be more hammer socket action here. Yeah, that's uh, 16 millimeters. It might be 15. I guess we're gonna find out. 16 coming in. And yeah. It's not that, okay. It is the rust that deceives us. Let's try a 15. Let's see if that one's gonna make it come loose. Uh, negative. You know what these are? These are self-shredding oxidized bolts. Let's try a 14. That's gonna get it. got a grip on the bolt at least. Switching out the little impact to the extra long 3 8 ratchet here. Let's uh, see if this is gonna break or loose. Hope so. Unclick. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 we're not doing this. This is, this is not gonna happen like this. This thing is going to come out. I refuse to lose. This is my Karmet payback for that Kia that was all rusted out and just kind of came apart. There we go. That was violent. Ah, but it's coming loose. Cool. Here, let's pull our ratchet off. Get the impact back on. Look at that. It's terrible. There she is. Okay, I think we've got just uh, one more fastener to go over here on this side. So let's reposition, set down our impact here, and we're gonna come back up. How many bolts are here? One or? Oh, there's three of them, okay. And one on the other side, and then two over here on this side. So let's see if this is gonna work here. I need to get the the socket into the bolt. The bolt's all rusty and flaky. So my socket's not wanting to fit. Dang. I think I should have charged a rust surplus tax on this. Why? What? You're making weird noises. What was that? Something fell down. Oh, it was my impact. Okay. Back in with the ratchet. It's cracker loose. Come on. There we go. 
please come loose. Lucy Goosey, yep, she turned. Yeah, boy. Cool. Okay. Now we're gonna get somewhere. I think this is gonna work out in the end. It's gonna be slow going. But it'll go. Got it, threads are good. It survived the extraction. All right, bolt number three. Let's get the extendo socket up in the hole there. Same thing as the other two, we gotta hammer it on, break it loose and impact it off. So first I gotta get it on the, on the bolt. Finger smashing good. There is so much rust on the floor from stuff that fell out of this car. I bet it's gonna get better gas mileage because it weighs less now. All right, we're preparing to uh, apply some torque action here with the ratchet. Watch the top. Oh, come on, you. Yeah. Did it turn? Yes, yeah, she did. She turned. Good. All right. Impact on. And this thing should start coming down, falling out of here. There's our bolt. Got it. Woohoo. Okay. So this guy is free loose. Try that down, I'll hold it with my hip. I think we're good. Pull this thing up and out. It doesn't want to come out. A little bit more. There we go. Woohoo, there she is. That's our gravity rusty crustomatic strut. Nice. And here's our new not crusted one. And look at that, there's our broken spring. Yeah, that's uh, not very good for a ride height or anything like that. So, now we can take this guy, get it back in the hole and bolt it in. This next part uh, should be the easy part. Then we gotta repeat it on the other side. Hey! Okie dokes, the new strut is in hand. It's coming in, in the hole, and then Fry this guy down. Now she's in position. So I'm gonna put the bottom bolt in first, that big bolt at the bottom, because this thing is free and it's able to move around. If I bolt it in at the top, it's gonna be harder to, uh, to adjust this down here in order to get that bolt hole lined up. I mean, that's my assessment anyway, that's what I think. Just push this thing back because everything's a hammer. This is an extended hammer. in looks like the hole is starting to line up a little bit up some a little bit left some and I think we're good there good 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 okay that's in threads are started now we can go up top and get the upper flange bolted to the uh, frame Let's start with the one right in front of us staring at us in the face we'll get that guy started I'm gonna start there we go. Now it's threading good. Let's go around to the back, get those other two. Okay, that one's threaded. Give it back. There we go. And around the back here, one more hole. That one's not really lined up either. Let's give her some wiggle action here. There it is. Got that one threaded in, started at least. Let's start sending them home. Got that one in.
that one and the one over here around the front to our left. Click. Okay, so we're bolted in here. Gonna tighten up the bottom bolts and then get the knuckle bolts installed, the big one at the bottom. Let's go ahead and just push this thing up. It's gonna collapse that spring ever so slightly. It's gonna bring this control arm up to meet the, uh, the knuckle. It's not really a steering knuckle. It's close. It might be close enough to start picking the car up off the rack over there. I'm watching that lift arm. We need a couple more inches here, but the spring is starting to compress and it's pushing the vehicle up. So we have to, like I said, keep an eye on that right there so we don't pick the car up off the lift. Try that guy down. Oh, huh, perfect. Now we're in position. Let's get that, uh, our last bolt set up over there. Then we'll tighten it all down, toss that uh, sway bar on. And this side will be good to go here. Hammer 30. Okay, 22 coming in. that back. Come on, pole jack. Ring. Beautiful. Okay, quick socket change. 24, let's tighten this guy down. Beginning impact. Good to go, beautiful. One is done. All righty, so here is our replacement sway bar links. They're Moog uh, problem solvers. They've got grease certs on them. That one's gonna go in through that hole like so, and then this one comes right through this hole down here on the control arm. So what I need to do is get these guys kind of lined up with their little holes. You see that one up there? Now we don't reach. So we're gonna start with the bottom one. Get that one on first. I might need to get the floor jack yeah, we need the pole jack back under here. I've got to pick this control arm up a little bit more to uh, line up that upper hole. So let's just do this again real fast. Love my job so much. I'll do it twice. We need like a half of an inch up there, I think. That looks like a half inch. Maybe a little bit more of a half inch. Angle that stud up, and it should. Yep, so that's through. Got her in. Ah, terrible cameraman. Got our nut here. Just reach around the backside. Get that nut threaded. There we go. And I've got to get that top one by hand because I can't get power tools in there, but we can zip this one on with the impact. 13, is that 13 or uh, that's 15. Okay, 15 coming in. need to do the upper one. I'll have to put a wrench on the outside of the stud to get that one to stay. This one, uh, that one was able to catch, but I won't be able to do the same for that one because again, no power tools. But you know what? We're gonna do that one last because I could appreciate some flex in this sway bar. So let's go ahead and move over to the driver's side and get started on, uh, on that other strut over yonder. Okay, moving on over. Let's just do some slide action here. There we go. All right, same protocol as last side. We'll get the pole jack, pull the two bolts out, chop this thing off with uh, a couple saws, then we'll drop this unit out of here. So I probably have to cut this off, but I'm gonna try to uh, unbolt it first. No hurt in trying. Nope. Next socket. Yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be a hard no. Let's go ahead and chop the thing off. Okay, loud grinding noises coming back in here. Let's see if I can, what's my angle here for my dangle gonna be? This way? This way.
All right, we got through it pretty far. Let's hit it with the impact driver. See if we can't break that nut off and then we'll hammer the thing out and then chop it off. Uh, we'll some time up top with the saws off. Maximum destruction impact chisel. Booyah, you lose. Saws all time. Just like the uh, passenger side. We're gonna get right on the back of that. Chop it off. Got it. Cool. That one came all the way off. No problem. Where'd the nut go? Ah, oh, found it. Here it is. Nut fell off. Backside there. Got her. Okay, back it up some. Let's go ahead and get our two big bolts out uh, for our control arm. Let's get the pole jack in position here. That way we can take the weight when it uh, when it comes down. And for safety and whatnot. That one's that one goes over there. Ugh, that coating is thick. Good. Unclicks. Rapid unclicks. beans that one's out good shape 24 Get this guy out <laughs> woo hoo now that one went up I shouldn't have done that it's supposed to come down Okay, no problem, pry bar, we're good here. So, now that all of our pressure is relieved everywhere, let's get our upper bolts at the top of the strut right here. You remember those, let's get those guys out next. So based on the amount of crustomatic rust up there, we're definitely gonna have to do this the same way uh, as the other side. Hammer the socket on. Break it loose with the wrench, and then, uh, and spin it off with the gun. That's 100% gonna be the protocol here. So let's see. Hold that right there. Right hand's got the other end of the ratchet and on clicking. Got her. That was, that was actually pretty good. Came off with less resistance than the other side. Rust, dirt, dust on my face. Okay, sneaking myself around to the back. Get those uh, those rear ones removed. There we go. Sockets almost lining up with a crusty crusty bolt there. Yeah, we're off. Well, that's way off. Okay, try again. It went on sideways, crooked ways. It's still on sideways. Yeah, that one's a rough one. It's a little worse than the others. Got one shot at this. If I slip that socket, I'm gonna be in a world of hurt. I think we're good. Okay, ratchet's coming in. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Let's give it a shot, see what she does. Yeah. Go. Yep, she's turning. That turned. Good. Very good. Okay. That one came free. Good. Two down, one to go. Let's go around the other side and get that front front one. Yeah, it's the front, 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 that way. Yeah, I know, half of what I just said doesn't uh, didn't make any sense. I mean, it made sense to me. I, I knew what I was talking about. Get this guy up in the hole here and hammer that one on next. Chip away some of the rust. I think we're, I think that's lined up right there. Hammer time, nope. Ah! I don't have any room to contort myself. 
What do I do? Need two hands on it. Okay, here we go. Now I got my my angles of attack all situated here. Okay, that's on. Socket, wrench, ratchet coming in down below. Can you guys see where that's at? A little bit, yeah, yeah, you can see. Let's get this guy on. And come loose. It slipped off. Okay. I put an extension on this so I can get some better uh, controllability of this uh, extension socket thing. I was having a hard time squeezing all my tools into that tight space in there. Try it again. Okay, ratchet's back on. On clicks. Come on now, turn. Here we go. Okay. Switch her out with the gun. Impact a roo. Need my extension again. Redo again. Come on, seriously? That's a uh, unacceptable. What is problem? I need lubricant. <laughs> okay, so here's my solution. Got a half inch to three eighths adapter. We're gonna put that on the end of our socket extension. And I'll back that thing out with a half inch gun. That's got, uh, it's got more beans. Many more beans. It's got all the beans. gonna reach. Snow. Get on there. Get on there you. Why is this side so hard? Now it's all slippery. It's all lubricated and slippery. Hmm. Something just, something bad just happened here. Oh no. All right. We have problem. The bolt is spinning in there, but it's not, uh, it's not on threading. Something, something let go. This is not okay. Okay, I'm hoping that the captured nut inside of there just broke free from its spot weld. So I'm gonna hammer a pry bar in. going to give us some down pressure on the strut and then we'll try to break it loose again a little bit more looser with the uh, socket here let's see if this is going to unthread or if i've got to cut it off i don't know maybe yep it's getting cut off now we're snapping. Okay, saws all time, again. This is fun, all right, this is not how I wanted this to work out. At all. Give it back to me. Come here. Well, I certainly did not see this coming, but.
but it's here, so let's get to chopping. Yay, all right, that's out. So now we can at least get the strut out of the vehicle and we can see what kind of uh, repair damage I need to deal with in there. That's uh, this could potentially be a pretty big problem, I think. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hmm. More pry bars. Pry hammer. There we go. That was fun. Got it. Okay, let's see what happened here to that, uh, that bolt. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was welded on and now it is not welded on. So I need to just weld a nut to the inside of up here and then I can put a new bolt in. Okay. Alrighty, so here's our situation at hand that uh, needs to be dealt with. We've got a rusted out, welded on nut from the inside that, uh, that our factory bolt is supposed to thread into. Now I've got a replacement, a suitable replacement bolt and a nut here. The trouble is, is I won't be able to get that nut in position and then weld it because I can't get my welder around this corner here. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna figure out where this nut sits and I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this, right? So then we're gonna place that nut in position and I'm gonna weld it from this side, attaching, or weld it through the hole from this side, effectively attaching this nut to the top of this frame through that hole. And then I can weld that hole shut while we're there. And then this nut will be in place of the one that's uh, already in position there. So let me go fetch the drill. We'll drill our pilot hole and then we'll uh, bust the welder out and get going. So now that we know the plan, Let's figure out where this hole is going to go here. So I'm gonna flip my nut around one more time. We're gonna thread this guy in, center the, center the hole there. And it's looking like right here, it's gonna be a good spot. Step bit from Milwaukee to the rescue, not sponsored. This is what I bought. They're better than Harbor Freight step bits. Okay, hole is drilled, this is good. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. I need to make sure that this bolt is inside of the nut because if I get that nut in position and then I weld on it, the heat on it can actually expand it or contract it and it can make the bolt not fit into the threads. But if I have the threads in the bolt, then apply the weld to it, uh, once it cools, it should go back to the normal position and the bolt would also prevent any kind of distortion from happening. I know that's kind of a long shot, but I've, I've experienced it. So what I'm doing is just gonna use the bolt to make sure that that nut stays the way it's supposed to be. Now, we appear to be set it up properly and I can see the edge of, uh, of that nut through the hole right there. So what I'm gonna do next is grab a hold of this with some vice grips to keep some pressure on it so it can't flop around while I'm trying to weld it. And we're gonna go through that hole with the MIG welder, buzz that on, and then hopefully it'll be enough to capture it and hold it in position so we can use this bolt to uh, secure the strut to the frame of the car. Okay, let's try these guys for some down pressure. That way my hands are safe and free and I can still kind of manipulate that a little bit. Let's get, uh, let's get our welder in. Welding helmets on, safety squints engaged. All right, I think I got it. It did, uh, it did, it did weld to the body. I can't push the thing up. See that? That's good. So now, let's get some more weld in there. So 
far so good. There. I think we got it. That should be finished off quite nicely. So now we have a new replacement captured bolt on the back side of the frame. How about that? I'm gonna consider that skills hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot. There. So now that we're back on track, let's get uh, let's get this strut up into its position here. Just like so. Slide that down in there. Good. Now we'll get our bolt at the bottom of the strut and then our three bolts uh, up top. Looking down at our big strut bolt right here. We've got the, uh, the bolt in hand. Just need to kind of shake this thing back a little bit. There's the uh, little pushing grommet business right there. Put that guy in. Okay, so far so good right there. Now, take our bolt. These are gonna go up into the flange. You guys know that already. Just being a thorough narrator. Did I put this backwards? No, no, I'm good. Hmm, not lining up. What is the problem with this? Is it not clocked properly? Yeah, I need to kind of spin them out. There, try that. There we go. That one started to thread in. Okay, we've got one in. Let's come around this way. We'll reach in, get the, uh, the back one in. That's gonna come from up and down and over here. It's still not clocked perfectly straight. I can work with it. There we go. Now let's push this up some. Keep it there. There we go. I got my knee holding it. Now I can get that one threaded some. Yeah, I feel it bite. There we go, that one's in. Okay. Let's get a couple turns on that bolt. Draw this thing up. And a couple more turns on the front one, back one, this one. There we go. And where'd that replacement bolt go? I think it's this one. Same size, nope. Close but no cigar. This one, thread it into its nut and I need to go up a little further. So we're headed back to this other bolt here. Come here. Get that on it, don't you, don't you do that. Get on there. There. Okay. You can stay right, stay there. Look at that, beautiful. It's threading in. Victory. It's actually a victory of the highest quality. So that's a 15, that new bolt was. The old ones were 14s. So let me pop this guy off, switch it out. And we'll tighten that one up next. Okay, up through the little opening there, onto our fastener. Look at that, she's tight. That was a success. Let's get those other, other two torqued all the way, because they were not. That one. And then the one off, uh, off to the right here. Get on there. Them. Okay, let's go back down below and get our big bolts in and then we'll slap those uh, sway bar links back together. Okay, pole jack coming back into position here. Let's get some up pressure on our lower control arm. We'll get this bolt and this bolt hole lined back up and we'll start uh, sending torque in here. Spin her around.
Yeah, I know, it looks kind of sketchy. It's not that bad. It's relatively safe-ish. Relatively. <laughs> A little more up. Down. Right on, that's perfect. See that? Okay, there's our big bolt coming in. Holes lined up, mostly. Should be lined up. Uh, yeah. It's a little too high. Let's let her down some. Click. Next for that 27. Oh, it's already on the thing there. Excellent. Cool beans, one sway bar link to go. All right, let's move this in a little bit closer and we can get uh, the sway bar link in its, uh, in its home here. We'll stick that in right up there at the top. We'll get one of the nuts threaded in or on, on and in, all of the above. That was an error in judgment. I put this on the wrong side of the thing. Love my job gonna do it twice put that behind right there now I get that nut on okay and then at the hole here in front of us I'm gonna let the control arm down some put that through there we go and then we can tighten this one with the impact and then the other one we'll do by hand up top Okay, 3 8 impact coming in for the win. Click. Very good. Okay, so here's how I'm going to attempt to tighten these guys down. I've got the flex head uh, spline drive mounting wrenches. And we're gonna squeeze that guy around to make sure that nut's as tight as I can get it by hand. Yep, slip that thing on over the nut, just like so. Very tight squeeze in there. I could barely fit this wrench uh, over that nut. There we go. And I'll just keep working her like so until, actually, you know what, new idea. I'll move the stud. There we go, that's better. We'll run the thing down, work it in, then we can go and uh, get that other side. That's the pan. Nearly complete. Right now, Troy is uh, up in the front and he's doing that, uh, that tie rod that we saw earlier in the last video. I figure he can, uh, he can handle that and knock that thing out. I'm not gonna send this off for the wheel alignment. Uh, my guy's gonna go do that all on his own. because he's from New York and has to go back to New York. <sighs> A little more. We're almost uh, about as tight as it's gonna get here. <clears throat> Click, and my wrench is stuck. Pry bar the wrench. So I'll pry bar the, uh, what you call it, up and out of the way. Maybe that'll work. Push. There we go. Got it. Cool, okay. That one's done. Let's go get the other side. All right, so we know that that little method was uh, effective. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and repeat what we just did here. We're gonna slip. Uh... That's kind of not working. That one doesn't fit. Need to pry bar the sway bar up so I may get the wrench onto it. Hang on here. There. That's what we need. Other wrench coming in. That's the 18. There we go. Flashlight. Ah, grab the cross. That was Latin for gravity. We're 
getting tight. A couple more here. That turns good. I think I need to do a wrench flip and give it its uh, final beans here. Oh, clicks. Okay, that one's on. Good. And where's me fry bar again? Gotta go back in here, fry up on uh, that sway bar to get the, uh, what you call it, get the wrench back. Got her. My fry bar back, good to go. All right. Let's back up some. Troy, you nearly done with that uh, tie rod over there, buddy? You get, uh oh, it's over there. Anyway, when he's done and uh, I'm almost done, we're going to go ahead and get these uh, wheels back on this thing and I'll take it out on the road one more time. Uh, we can check for uh, any other noises and whatnot, but I think we're in uh, good shape here. Got it? Yeah. Good. Yep. Hey, hi. Side eye, he gave everybody the side eye. You just gave 100,000 people the side eye. You don't see my black elbow? Uh, yes, you have yeah. some. I got paint on my you elbow. Have some, uh, that's oh, not that's paint? Yeah. Oh, that was petroleum product. Yep. It's, is it paint, is it fresh paint? Because Maya's painting. Is it her fresh paint? She's, uh, I didn't she's, do that, that was me. You got paint on your hands. Yeah. Lots and lots of it. I don't have hands. Not you red don't handed. have hands. Red handed, coming down. Right, let's, uh, let's back this unit out, take it on the road. All the way down. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier we're not going to do the AC work on this. So if anybody's wondering, uh, there will be no AC work. And yes, uh, both of both of both of the joints on the rear sway bar links had Zerk fittings, and they were greased with that grease gun right there, as well as this tie rod right here that uh, Troy just changed. So. That is uh, of no problem and of no consequence. I have lubricated uh, all of the uh, systems that can, in fact, be lubricated. Put that guy back on the cap where she goes. There we go. Those guys go over here. And I need to fetch my my light and get that out. Don't want to drive away without my light. That would not be okay. It's a very bright light. Oop. Hang this unit up right there. There you go, until the next time, lightsaber light bar. See you later, Honda. Okie dokes, let's hop on in. Restarting the engine. And uh, we're gonna go out and hit the road real quick. We'll do our normal short, short course test drive up and over the bridge, around and through, and then back under the bridge over the tracks. Now we had the brakes apart, so I need to pump up the pedal just to make sure that the pads are seated against the uh, the rotor. Looking good, feeling good. Wheels are tight, they're installed, backing up. Honks for safety, especially since there's extra people here. Uh, you guys were wondering uh, who the, uh, the third body was walking around. That's Dave, he's over there. Dave started earlier this week. He's working out really well. I like Dave, and I like Dave being here. He's a good guy. Anyway. You guys will see more of Dave uh, in the coming coming days, weeks, months, and years, etc., etc. So we're backing around. We've got the tie rod on it. We've got the two rear struts in. We have two rear sway bars. Uh, we had diagnosed the air conditioning. Didn't do anything with that. And the engine oil was changed uh, earlier by my Jeep guy. So uh, am I missing something? I thought there was something else on this. Uh, I'll have to check my paperwork. But either way, uh, this thing is in uh, nearly completed condition. So let's go out and just make sure our steering doesn't feel binding and we don't hear any popping and clanking, banging noises from uh, broken suspension components. And uh, if that's the case, we're gonna swing it back to the shop, get her parked, close it up, and I'm headed home because it is in the bay. The sun is long, the shadows are stretched. I'm tired, it's hot, and we're, uh, we're almost done here. Okay, let's ride. So basically what I wanna check to make sure first, see I know the springs back there are not broken. What I wanna make sure of is this thing doesn't have that hopping binding business in the steering that I felt like it had earlier. And it does not, it does not seem to wander uh, like it did. So I think we're good here. Yep, it feels good, I hear no more noises. The ride height is now the same. Right turn up and over the bridge. We're gonna pick up some speed. 
give it a couple hard braking events just to make sure that grinding noise doesn't uh, show back up under hard braking. We can call this one good. So, having said all that, water heater. Having said all that, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Certainly hope you enjoyed this video, actually this video series, because this is in fact uh, part two. Uh, if you would like to go back and watch part one, just check down inside of this video's uh, description, and there will be a link that will take you back to the uh, first video on this uh, 2013 Honda Ridgeline. Uh, or you can wait till the very end of this video, there's going to be a little pop-up like right around here somewhere, or maybe over here, or maybe down here. And uh, that will uh, also link you back in time to the part one of this, uh, this Honda Ridgeline video. So, all of that being said, again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, have yourselves a great day. See you guys later in the video, in on the Ridgeline, in a day, in a transmission.